Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Burger coming in with another cigarette review. And today we have something pretty special. We have Lucky Strike non-filters. Now, these have been pretty hard for me to acquire. I got a pack once um, and it was unfortunately expired. Uh, I, do not, I do not know if this one's expired because I don't know how to read the code or whatever. One of my friends had to tell me it was. But um, if you look at the top, there's foil on there they i think rj reynolds is replacing all of their products all their cigarette products with paper like a shiny white paper instead of um the standard foil that you're used to uh other than that um let's just go ahead and get into this pack and see what it's like lucky strikes are one of my favorite cigarettes um i think they always will be uh Let's go ahead and take the cellophane off of this. And it's got your RJ Reynolds tobacco sticker right there. And then the 20 class A cigarettes, um, same on both sides. It's got, you know, the original Lucky Strike green. If you didn't know, Lucky Strike used to, their main color used to be green and red, opposed to, you know, the, the white and the red and the, you know what I'm talking about. But let's go ahead and get this baby open. I always have a hard time getting the first cigarette out of here. So let's, all right, we're gonna, we're gonna probably have to pinch this fella. Let's get you out of here. All right. Oh, almost dropped it. And there we go. You have your Lucky Strike unfiltered. It has the uh, Lucky Strike logo right there, the circle, the Lucky Strike. That's not on your regular Lucky Strike filtered cigarette. That only comes on the non-filters. So, um, let's go ahead and do a dry pull on this. See how it is. I see how it tastes. Right off the bat, super sweet. Super sweet flavor. And... I cannot complain a bit about that. I'm a, I am a sweet tooth. That's, that is part of who I am. I love sweet things. And cigarettes are not an exception. So let's go ahead and get into the cigarette. Spit a little bit, cause I got some tobacco in my mouth from the dry pool. Let's go ahead and get started with this cigarette. Let's go ahead and light it up and I'll give you my first thoughts. Damn. Okay. Right off the bat, first impressions. I haven't smoked an unfiltered cigarette in a while now. I haven't smoked an unfiltered cigarette in a while now. Um, I forget how harsh they are. I forget how instantly that, that buzz hits you immediately. Um, flavor absolutely amazing it is um it's got this sweet richer flavor to it uh let me get another hit in here yeah that's that sweet rich flavor that you um you'd expect from a lucky strike but think about your regular lucky strike that you smoke and think about the flavor times 10 that's what this tastes like if you just took the flavor of a regular Lucky Strike and you just fucking amped it up. Very enjoyable smoke though. I can't lie. It is kind of harsh on the throat. Obviously it's a non-filter. Um, I mean, if you're gonna buy non-filters, expecting them to be smooth, like, um, I don't know, like a parliament. I, I, I wouldn't exactly buy non-filters, but it is that, that very strong, very forward nicotine buzz. Um, let's go ahead and take another hit. Wow. That is amazing, folks. That is, that's really good. That's, I mean, that's, I, that's, I'm a, that's pretty much all I can say. I'm about a quarter way through this cigarette. Oh. very enjoyable but um I cannot complain Whew. 
Again, the flavor is very like sweet, a little bit of earthy, but that's all tobacco. Um, and like a very rich, sweet flavor. Um, it's very enjoyable. I love Loki Strikes, I love non-filter cigarettes. Camel non-filters are one of my favorites. Those are a little bit more, um, I'd say they're a little bit less harsh, but a little bit more intense with the flavor. It's a very like, a bit darker of a flavor than the uh, Lucky Strikes, but. Getting close to the end of this cigarette here. Um, I love Lucky Strikes. I love Lucky Strike non-filters. I love Lucky Strike filters. Um, I don't like their menthols. But that's just a personal thing. I don't like menthol. Getting to the end of the cigarette, if I had to give it a rating, it'd probably be a 9 or 10 out of 10. Um, I mean, one of the most amazing smokes I've had. The expired ones were obviously, you know, they didn't have as much flavor. But this is really, you know, packing a punch. So... Quite enjoyable. I'm gonna go ahead and put this out. And finishing the cigarette, one of the best smokes I've had. It's a very intense uh, nicotine buzz. Um, it's got a very, it's very flavorful. It's very sweet uh, for a cigarette. Um, overall, very enjoyable smoke. Uh, I hope to see you guys again soon, um, and I guess peace out.